This is CTV News. Good evening. We begin with growing evidence the battle over the Northern Gateway Pipeline could get ugly, even violent. More influential voices are speaking out in support of controversial comments made yesterday to CTV News by a prominent First Nations chief. Scott Roberts with our top story. Are we going to let them cross the bridge? No! She was at the forefront of the blockade at Clackwood Sound, one of hundreds arrested in mass protests now recognized as one of the largest acts of civil disobedience in Canadian history. Nearly 20 years later, Sephora Berman believes something similar is shaping up again. You have a lot of people now organizing and saying, if it goes through, this is what will happen. There is no question that there will be greater protests. She's talking about the Northern Gateway Pipeline, just one critic lining up to defend controversial statements made yesterday by the head of the Union of B.C. Indian Chiefs, who said if the pipeline goes forward, First Nations will battle the project on the ground, going as far as comparing the fight to violent disputes at Ipperwash, Ontario, and Oka, Quebec. I don't think that he's saying anything that isn't already somewhat been, I guess, thought over and digested by the Aboriginal communities. The B.C. Métis Federation is also standing by the statements, but says physical action will be a last resort if legal appeals fail. It would be unfortunate if it ended up in that kind of uh, uh, violent standoff. Uh, I do believe, though, that the ingredients are there. Not all Aboriginal leaders are so quick to predict confrontation, among them this Tsleil-Waututh councillor. I think it, it is too early to make those comparisons, and I would hope that people who are you know, at the table making these decisions are, will actually really sit down and have meaningful discussion. Still, even the suggestion of conflict on the ground has the provincial government worried. Currently caught in the middle between the Harper government who supports the pipeline and a growing opposition here. They're hoping that heated rhetoric cools. Sometimes we need to, uh, to turn the language down a little bit. Uh, there is a process in place. And I think we need to respect that process. But if that process results in approval, opponents say, look out. There's no question that we will see protests and a lot of conflict in the years to come. Some predicting a repeat of what we saw 20 years ago, or even worse. Scott Roberts, CTV News, Vancouver. Now, if the Northern Gateway project becomes a reality, along with two other contentious pipelines, a new report shows B.C. would receive far fewer economic benefits than Alberta. The report, published by the Canadian Energy Research Institute, projects Alberta would rake in more than half a trillion dollars in tax revenue over 25 years. In the same period, B.C. would take in less than $10 billion. By comparison, Ontario would make nearly twice as much as B.C.